Good readings and welcome, fellow riders, to another episode of Let's Play Darksiders 2 Definitive Edition. Which is definitively not broken. Or stuff. Oh, we're actually where we're supposed to be. Good, good. Yeah, this... this... This is by far the least well-developed bit, bits of DLC that this game has. And it really shows, but... You know what, it's extra content, I'm not complaining all that much. Story-wise, this is actually a little bit more interesting than the other two. At least Death has such some some for so uh, Death has some interest in what happened to humanity. Even if he doesn't care for humans all that much. Finding one alive could release his brother after all. Well, one isn't actually quite enough to fulfill the purpose he set forth, but you know, it's a start. It's something he can show to the Chart Council. Where is it? Yeah, I'm playing game. No, you can't play with the buttons. Is it chest here? Is it above me or below me? Well, I can't see it, so it's probably below me then. Nothing of import down here. All right, let's keep going. So I just kind of noticed that most of this DLC feels quiet. It's just eerily quiet, like no real sounds or music. I mean, probably wasn't all that much music throughout this game as, as it was, but... You know, you at least imagine a little bit of a battle tune. Like, for instance, when we were fighting the Ice Dragon before, that was done in almost complete silence. There's no epic music or, or, a, or a score of some kind. Heck, Death seemed, seemed, didn't seem all that impressed with winning. I guess it just all makes me wonder. That wasn't there before. Anyway, it sort of makes me wonder what THQ might have been able to do if they had had the money and time to finish all this. Impossible. If it feel more complete. I'll be honest, I'm not all that impressed with all these recycled environments. At the very least, the enemies are sort of interesting. In that they are new. Right, there's only one way to go, and that's forward apparently. But I don't have the key, so... Where can I possibly go? Ok, 
can't climb up. Now, ah, there's a rail on the other side. Alright, I would not have noticed that immediately. Um, how do I get up there, though? Doesn't seem to be a way up. Hmm. Guess I'll just... Guess I'll just shove this. So just shove this manually because trying to shove it with magic doesn't seem to work. Alright, let's see if it's in the right place there. I mean, that's the only place it could logically go, but still. That's sort of inventive uh, way of uh, platforming. Where did he... Oh, right, there's a hole in the room. Well, at least they thought of that. I cannot. Again, with the game not trusting me. Dust wants me to go there. Can I go here instead? No, can't climb up this little area that I cannot jump high enough for. Advertising for junk! You know, those are impressive traps. 
Just one question. How the F did you hang them up there just to, because you knew they would spawn there? I mean, much like that car. I mean, I, I know humans are capable of some pretty impressive feats. But not a single human. Well, there you go. Get it over with then. Peace, human. It is not yet your time. <laughs> right. We'll see about that. You're no demon. I can tell that much. If you don't want to kill me, why chase me across the whole damn city? I thought your kind was no more. Who or what are you? I am death. Death is the one thing that's eluded me. Why, after all this, do you come for me now? Ooh, a new friend to play with. Fair now, is it? few allies since the end day mostly beasts and well the others if I didn't know better I'd say they were angels doesn't matter neither cares much for our kind you you're different somehow you would think less of me had I come at any other time how can it be that humans still live I would hardly call this living yeah my body works just fine but everything that I live for is gone still you should be dead. I stay low. There are ways of avoiding the demons. They're not all powerful as they would have us believe. Is it us there are others? Uh, not sure. But I work alone. Some things never change, I guess. Even after the apocalypse. What became of those humans? I don't know. I can only hope that their end was quick. That is most likely. I respect your need for secrecy, human, but I must know, how did you survive? I was a Boy Scout. A what? Never mind. The Demon Lord caught up with me a while back. We made a deal. I sold my soul. I see. And what else did you give up? He forced me to tell him the hiding place of the other survivors. What was this demon's name? He called himself Belial. Wait, what are you gonna do? Kill him. First, he will tell me what happened to the other humans. Kill him? You're out of your mind! Those things that attacked us on the street, they were nothing! Belial's a demon lord! I've slain many lords in my time. Whatever you say. Oh yeah, and if you see my soul lying around, mind fetching it for me? Yay! Alright! So that sort of does explain how he survived. Another thing that Fulgrim gave to me. Uh, I suppose.
Why have you come to me, Reaper? Well, because I've got crap to sell, and you're very much in the business of buying shit from me. Stuff from me, rather. Shouldn't be unkind. Just wish the game would stop giving me grey items. You know? Respect my level. Although I'm certain that there will be some people who have played this game on the hardest difficulty with nothing but grey items. Because that's just how some people are. May our paths never cross. I don't know. Something about her being here feels out of place. Alright, the souls of the slaughtered held locked and damned within the confines of this hammer's agonizing shape. Burning and tearing at all it strikes in an attempt to strip life from its foes and bring the weapon's existence back into form. He who swings the mighty hell maul swings the anguish of wars fought eons past. And the Ice Reaver. The Ice Reaver, forged with the powers opposite of the burning core of hell, crafted with a bite that can snap freeze all forms of life to an icy halt. The blade's enchanted with a demonic curse that drains the energy from all it touches, granting its master power alongside solid defense. Cool. Literally. Are they better than what I am using now? Hmm. Not really. I mean, see, these are arm blades, aren't they? Yeah. The hell mole would come closest. It's not bad, but you know, I've had better. Alright. So let's move on. Now we've got the bit of uh, the key that we need. I did notice though that we are really not gaining any more experience. So I'm guessing I'm locked to the current level for the remainder of the game, which is fine. Right, where am I trying to go? Right, we're going down here. Still... That human is so ready to, ready to believe the power of the demon lords, but when he sees angels, he's not quite sure he can believe them. I don't know what he was expecting from angels, though. Focus on finding the demon lord. He who has the name that has been used a thousand times to describe a person who lies about everything. Right. Using this perspective again, if you're gonna drop me into the sky again. Just 
focus on actually getting down. And we'll have to continue this next time. Thank you all for watching.